Hi, it's Alana with thediabetessupportgroup.org. This Diabetes Minute is about glucagon. This is a glucagon emergency kit for low blood sugar. If you know someone who is on insulin, chances are their doctor has prescribed a glucagon. You, you're required to have a prescription uh, to use it, and this is to be injected into the diabetic in situations where their blood sugar is so dangerously low that they may not be able to respond or provide their own source of sugar. So follow your doctor's instructions about when this should be administered. This video is about how to do it. Okay, so you're going to open up the glucagon kit and what you're going to find in there are these two items. There are two caps that you need to remove before you do anything else. First, this contains, this file contains the medicine and there's a little gray cap on here. If you try to inject the needle into this cap, you're going to break your needle. So let me make a point. These glucagons have a really short shelf life. So chances are you're going to have some extras that have expired lying around. Use those to practice and take them to work. Have your your spouse, someone that sleeps in your house, practice with them so they get good at administering this if they ever have to do it in an emergency. So you're going to take this gray cap off the vial. Then you're going to take the cap off of the needle. Okay. Next, you're going to insert the needle into the vial. There's a cap also on the needle in order to be able to make the liquid move out of the needle. So now I'm going to very slowly inject all the liquid into the vial and I'm going to replace the cap so this needle stays sterile since that's what's going to go into the diabetic. Alright, so now the liquid's in here. There was just a little tablet in there. The liquid dissolves the tablet and so this is what creates the medicine that needs to go into the diabetic. They say not to shake it and that you should just rub it between your fingers like this until it's dissolved. It dissolves very quickly. So then you're going to remove the cap off the needle again. You're going to inject it into the vial and then the needle is supposed to be below the level of the liquid and you're very slowly going to draw the liquid down into the needle. You may not get it all but you're going to get as much as you can without having the stopper go below this green line because then it'll fall out the bottom. So get as much as you can into the needle and then this is what you're going to inject into the diabetic. It can go through clothes. It's a strong needle. So you're going to um, put it in their thigh or wherever the doctor has recommended if it's somewhere else to put it and then you're going to push the plunger to make all the fluid uh, go into the diabetic. I hope this has been helpful to you and please visit thediabetessupportgroup.org for more information. And if you have any questions about how to do this, take bring the kit into your doctor's office and have a nurse walk you through the process. Thanks.